see how to set up a, a PHE application on AWS uh, account. So here I will uh, record this video uh, non-stop. Um, so we can see all the steps. Uh, additionally, we will be utilizing uh, chat GPT here uh, to uh, get the command. Almost each and every command, uh, we will get the support of chat GPT and uh, already having uh, small notes to prepare a server for PHG application and to deploy the PHG application on a AWS Ubuntu server. So we will even see how to create that Ubuntu server. So this is already logged in uh, into the AWS console. In the service section, go for EC2 or by search also you can go to EC2. Now launch instance. So we can name it as uh, PHP application. Uh, I'm going to see on Ubuntu. Then uh, normally micro instance enough, but in this example we will try to see for a uh, little bigger instance, <coughs> so we can avoid um, um, resource issues. T uh, two or T three even five. So I am just showing in a T three small. Then key pair I already had. Otherwise, you can create a key pair, download it, and uh, save it in a proper location. Uh, if you are connecting from kind of Linux uh, server, then you need to give uh, 400 uh, permission, uh, ch mod. Uh, I am using Mac, so that also same command line. Otherwise, you will be going through putty to connect. So, hope that is a simple thing to do. Then, uh, create a new security group. So, SSH traffic definitely needed, or you can choose the existing one. Then later we will be creating, um, uh, we will be adding uh, one more outbound uh, for port 80 uh, because uh, this uh, uh, PHE Apache will run in port 80. So that's uh, that's a HTTP URL. If we use HTTPS, we have to go for HTTPS also. So I, I just select this also here, where then we will go and see there. So everything fine, we'll create the machine, um, HGB suspicious. We'll put little bigger one, most probably 8 GB fine, but I'm putting 16. <coughs> Good, we can go for launch. <coughs> That's all. So we had to go to the instance and see. Um, yes. So the instance being created, um, so initializing uh, the status. So once we finish this, uh, there will be a URL running on it. So I'm just opening and testing, it, it won't work now. Now this is URL we will be using, then uh, we have to connect like this. So there is a key file already, there's a key file. SSH SSH minus I the key file name AIOPS EM uh, in AWS Ubuntu server have by default Ubuntu as the name so that's why we are giving this yeah this will connect first time it will ask for the name <coughs> right so this is good now we are going to see one small step whether the security group uh, have uh, the so we have to go to the instance <coughs> we have to go to the instance then security group here in this area then select the security group then uh, see the edit outbound so outbound all traffic they put inbound okay inbound is the important one so ssh is there that's why we we were able to connect this also as we think it is possible otherwise you have to edit the inbound and open all the port where our application is going to run so web server is now accessible if we have to do https uh, then we had to select that also https this one all other custom ports we can go for custom tcp or custom udp right 
uh, after that uh, which from where we can connect we have to select so custom we can select the ip or ip port range uh, otherwise we can say anywhere through ipv4 or ipv6 that's what we do so currently it is all fine so we cancel it so in this side everything fine now we are going to install um uh, php uh, and uh, mysql combination so this is the pre written uh, commands i have this will work so i will share the url also you can go through this and install so currently i will show how to do this will take a lot of time uh, only because uh, the command should be executed I mentioned this uh, time taking process simply to install each so here many message will come normally uh, as you know we have to go with ok tap space to move so there is a selection tap space to move to the ok then again enter so every installation will go like that just select uh, ok and go with the default um, then Apache. yes so every time it will prompt for installation either we can pass the parameter as hyphen y otherwise just type y and enter so that is yes here also same way it is asking prompting again tab space go to the ok and then enter uh, we had to restart the apache here so once restarted uh, this url will work the ip address will work restart and see but there are uh, more configuration okay <laughs> that's immediately refreshing then we had to install PHE and all relevant components of PHE here we put the Y <laughs> so it doesn't prompt for this project it doesn't mean everything needed but as a standard i used to install for example gd is for image processing so we are not having it there but my sql needed um, this is a code igniter framework so possibly xml needed curl may be needed so by default we are installing all okay in the same way This all can be included in the one group, one command even. Just to display here, I just split it in multiple command. So here we are connecting VHV with uh, Apache. That's why we have to restart. Or any new module for Apache, we have to restart.
restart and we are installing mysql client so that is our enabling mysql connectivity this is to do in local or remote either way this is needed the second step if i get restarted going for mysql mysql client only so this enable uh, PHP application to communicate with uh, MySQL DB, a local or um, even external, it will it will need it. Now we are installing the actual MySQL server. So locally we are going to use the MySQL. So simply install it. Then we initiate the MySQL service so even in uh, restart it will automatically start So we will initiate the MySQL service. You can see almost all commands are going with sudo, right? Otherwise, you have to go like this, sudo su. So see here, this is Ubuntu user now. This is Ubuntu user. So sudo every time temporarily go to the root, uh, but uh, sudo su will take to root directly, see like this. Again, exit. So normally not good to go with the root and install then like uh, all the installation will have root privilege uh, that may be not good security wise that's why we do like this but installation sudo needed then uh, this is we can see sudo mysql this is a tricky part um, by default if you want to log in as mysql or root user there is a root user available without password so you have to log in with sudo normally mysql will work command mysql but we have to go with sudo if we want to log in as root once we finish the work actually we have to delete or disable the root user and come back with a normal user and work in this example we will always go with sudo to reduce the other uh, security related uh, uh, tutorial so i'm going sudo and mysql or sudo su then mysql either one is fine right so they were saying uh, how to give a password to the sudo user and they were saying uh, uh, how to log in through then say there is sudo not necessary if you properly give a password or uh, uh, you can even restore it secure installation will ask you to um, uh, delete the temporary dbs and all uh, that also not that much problem so we'll do a create db so First, we'll see what are the databases there. So there are a few databases available. I will create this uh, MIS. Make sure always the semicolon given, uh, not like programs. This is console. So semicolon is the one deciding whether one statement is finished or not. So we have to give it, otherwise it will uh, prompt and stay. So it is created. Then if you want to work on that particular MIS database, then use MIS. That's all we do. Okay. So that's all. Then I will exit from here. MySQL part done. So we don't have a password now. right so we can try with a new user uh, for our project work so i will go with a simple user username also mis it will be confusing but uh, maybe maybe i will do mis user then password also very simple password i will try so we can see how to use it as well so the command like this Entity password
so password will be like m minus dash uh, okay. I won't validate properly. You can see <coughs> the host name should be given um, where we are connecting from. So, local host, if we are connecting from local, uh, username go in a combination. Um, otherwise, we had to put uh, the percentage mark for all any from anywhere. Otherwise, uh, if we are dedicatedly giving uh, through a certain uh, IP or port. Uh, IP uh, then we can give uh, that particular IP especially this machine IP right so there is a way to do like that so currently we will go for MIS user user is MIS user password is MIS hash this password we done it so if I exit then my SQL hyphen uh, if I give H, then I have to give local host or the IP address if it is a external machine. Then U, uh, then uh, username with the space MIS user. Then password hyphen P, P. then uh, no space because space will be considered as a password character. Then in that it will log in, right? Uh, the problem is uh, we didn't give privilege or grant uh, anything, so that's what database show databases. It's a problem. The newly created MIS database not listed because we didn't add that database in the privilege. Uh, so only sudo will see that. So if I just again run the databases. This will show the newly created database because that have the super user privilege and it have visibility to the all. So we need to grant that privileges. So I need to give that same things and flush the privilege. MIS user. Then database, which database and all the tables under there. So the database name is MIS. Right, then I have to flush the privilege, otherwise, I have to restart the uh, MySQL. Right now, this will work for the new login session. So exit. Uh, MIS user will work. Then show databases. MIS is there. That part is over. Now, uh, where are the Apache PHE located? So that is normally in Linux servers var www.html. So this is a place it's here that index.html is the one you are looking here. So we need to take a backup or remove that one, then replace with our new port piece. So before doing that, we'll see the privilege. So both are in root because we install from root. Um, permission issues and all will be there, but anyhow, we will go with the super user and everything. So work will be reduced. This is done. This is done. Now um, there are a few configuration to be enabled. That is one of the problem. So this is to code ignite to work uh, with uh, symbolic links uh, and uh, kind of uh, HD, HD access problems. Uh, we'll enable it that's a difficult part on this deployment so then we have to restart then uh, this is the one um, there we have to make sure um, allow overwrite is enabled so we will see it So out of three block, one will be the one is the one we need to edit. All the others are already um, in the recommended uh, status. This is not recommended. It is uh, inside your way of doing it, but we have to do. So directory root, uh, do we have fellow siblings, allow write non, recur all, deny. So fellow sibling, allow write uh, non, then all deny, recur, all deny, that is fine. 
user share also fine hopefully or uh, non and branded branded or branded this is the one we have to say hello or it should be all others are fine so otherwise this will cause problem on the um, uh, symbolic link so the project won't be accessible this is all again i'm telling this is not a secure way but for our project uh, if you do like this only it will quickly work uh, normally we supposed to control this through hdxs file only so that will be local this is global effect then schema so this we already done create schema create user access privileges all given normally project should have this kind of uh, proper privilege so external file uploads and all all won't be allowed um, but in our scenario we will directly deploy and see how it work uh, all the other step won't be necessary so now we are going to deploy the project the project path is already there so this is the place i already uploaded so this will be available there we have to download it so see the local folder nothing there by the way, I need to restart the Apache. Okay. So this will download the project from that folder. Uh, yeah, 148 MB. So you can see it here. Right. Now we have to extract it. This is a full project of PHG. PHG nothing like uh, compile those kind of things are not there we have to extract and put the folder into the server folder then access the server on the spot it will uh, compile and run it uh, you can edit on the spot it will work there is no like nothing like compile uh, that is one benefit so we have to extract it so this is a place i am using chat gpd we'll see So this one we had to move to that var wgwg folder. So for that one, so go rm, it's recursive var wgwg ml. So this is a place we will be moving this folder. So before that, we'll make sure this is working first. So Apache is working. Now we have to remove that folder. Then. Uh, move html then that folder yeah so this is currently won't work because we delete the folder now we will be moving this yeah so sudo unit then this supposed to work but error will be there yeah so it jump to the yes it's jump to the, the uh, previous deployment um so we need to change that path before that we will change the permission also so it's not Let's go put it up. Okay, capital R. So if it is a folder, we have to give minus capital R. Uh, then seven seven not a good one, but we are giving to easily go through. Otherwise, uh, many places we had one by one enable the right permissions. So this is done. Now this you can notice this is jumping to a wrong IP address. Uh, we were starting with the uh, IP address of 184, but this is going to something like 18. That is a previous deployment path. So we have to edit that. Uh, now sudo possibly not necessary. We'll see. 
vi so i am using vi editor then this path carefully watch application config config.php so this is a place based url should be editor most uh, this this project only this enough but uh, other places uh, something like uh, s3 configuration mail sending configuration all should be edited so after selecting this i if you press i only it will go to edit mode otherwise you see this is this will change when i press i right insert then you can edit it otherwise just watch how to do uh, uh, the vi editor vi you will be more whatever than vi so done this one right so one more place to edit database so here the first block should be edited uh, we are going with localhost so i was connecting to uh, rds earlier so this id the password so that will work with rds but currently i am going to change for the local mysql so we can see how it work um so before that ip address should be changed here and checked now errors because my sql is not there this 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 is the one no, couldn't connect and all this is so localhost is the one so i will just type localhost here localhost uh, if you remember i was creating a new user uh, mis user then password i was putting i think mis uh, capital m i s cash 2023 uh, it didn't work we can go for root also root mean part no password i did that supposed to work right so now this is actually connecting now it is telling certain tables are not there so this is a place we have to import the uh, 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 db so currently we are in this uh, so where we are we can type pwdnc which folder i am standing so this is a home directory i need to better i need to go to that uh, um, project directory so www.html so this is a root directory of the project the hierarchy will look like this so they are the project mainly available in application all others are support files uh, so i need to jump to db folder then it have the db backup so we need to import this to the mis so how i will import uh, i will use uh, so I already search for the command how to import, uh, which I already done somewhere. I uh, will do like this. How to import SQL to SQL DB with user yes user password mis hash again the secure password don't put it here this is an external tool right so you should be careful on this one when doing a company work sensitive information shouldn't be replaced for easiness i am putting otherwise put a temporary thing and ask it will give the command you can run the command by modifying with actual details i am putting the actual one because it's test so yes i missed to ask about db name so they put it there so the full detail came i need to run this this will work only if privilege issue there it will fail so i need to say the db name my sql dump my is dump 
then this is the db name my yes right so this is a privilege issue in such a scenario we need to go for sudo login so remove the password otherwise we need to waste time on granting this privilege to come back then come back and do so rather we'll do the root so work will be faster if you are if you are doing root always remember sudo only my sql they put this kind of privilege so just put that then they will run without issue hopefully imported yes now this should work yes it's working uh the first login i will give it here itself so you can use and continue with that double seven five one four three eight three two username right the password will be i will type here just see it no double one double seven double one double zero double one so this is the one password so it's one visible here sign in well the other medium won't work after you sign in you have to just click one by one navigate to generate the traffic or whatever it is that's how this work and then privilege right so since this project uh, given for uh, data doc uh, monitoring testing so go to the same area go to wiki then select uh, data doc uh, learning uh, not that one tutorial data doc on ubuntu right so this will allow you uh, uh, give you the basic uh, deployment guide for data doc or maybe you can see on another video after doing all these deployments by injecting the key and path then uh, you will see in the data doc dashboard details coming uh, all will come uh, the main purpose uh, to integrate uh, apm and rum with this one so after integrating those um, you will be having uh, uh, rum and apm details also so apm is a separate installation on the server directly but the rum is a code injection so i will show it here itself we have to edit the rum so this also careful so this is a project folder we are sending var www.html inside there vi application views common view metadata php so just remember the path full path mean var www.html otherwise inside the project folder application views common metadata php this is a place you have to integrate your RAM code. Integrate means nothing. Copy paste the code below here. They will give the code sample when you check on Datadog site. Copy paste the code sample here. Then refresh. So just see the significant points here. Maybe the viewport, description, this kind of thing. When you go here and view page source or inspect element and go to the header block here. So see, these are the one having the things available uh, but things we are putting on this area right so description author icon all so when you put the code block that's supposed to appear under this header block right below remaining are dynamically coming but in this block inside this header block that will come so that's how you can verify that is loaded after that you can check the console all these errors are fine it will work with it any new error come consider whether this is that is your integration error then network you can go and see when loading if the data doc uh, so here clean everything loaded so anything not loadable from data doc then uh, that should be considered so right so these are the thing so this is how deploying the uh, project so hope you can follow it 
so i am exiting from there in the deployment before exiting i will show the commands also for you one time so the all the command we executed you can see from here so update upgrade all the command uh, here anyhow video also have it gradually but commands also visible by running the history so i'm just exiting from this machine and i'm going to delete the machine because it will run the cost so go to the instance area the instance visible we need to delete that instance and we can check where the volumes are there so normally in, in uh, while creating we mention in termination delete the volumes it mean the mount points they will delete it right 16 gb this volume should go off uh, possibly the security group should go off uh, that's not listed here so then then fine um so instances and ph is the instance right so i'm deleting this instance it's a very expensive one possibly i run for one hour so they, there will be a bill for that i'm deleting it action uh not action instance state so stop also will stop the bill but uh, volume bill will go i'm going to terminate the instance straight away so terminate the instance they will ask a confirmation whether this ph instant with this id you want to delete it yes terminate on an ebs backed instant the default action is for root ebs volume be deleted that's true so you can add more and more hard drives so ebs uh, the root first one we added only will be deleted others will be left over under the volume section that's what they are telling so terminate normally this will take time even though they are saying deleted it will take time so after we sign out and come back only that will be affected here but uh, good to check it later because it will run the cost so that's all um, hope this helped you to deploy the project and work on it.